Hello, 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 hey girls. All right, so I'm in here today to answer your questions, and all of your questions were about Tony Robbins. So I'm in Texas right now. We actually went to Lake Whitney. <laughs> Ain't that cool? We went to Lake Whitney yesterday, and today we are in Waco. So we're gonna go to some place called Magnolia Market. I don't know, y'all. Have you have y'all heard of that? <laughs> yeah, you have. Woo -hoo! So we're gonna buzz over there today and see what they got going on. We're gonna go see Baylor, and uh, we went and saw the Bears yesterday, but we're gonna go back and see the bookstore today. I'm um, with my stepson. He thinks he may want to go play baseball at Baylor one day. So we're checking it all out while we're here. And then we're going to go to the Texas Rangers Museum, which is about the actual, like, pew-pew rangers, not about, like, the baseball rangers. But we're in Texas to go see Tony Robbins, and I'm super excited because I love Tony Robbins. I completely drink the Tony Robbins Kool-Aid, and anybody that has that many success stories is somebody that I want to hang out with and follow and learn from. Anybody that has that many haters is also somebody that I want to be with and learn from and just see what they got going on and see what he does that is really, really good and see some areas that, you know, he's human. And to see him go through some things that are less than amazing, you know, as I'm going through things and I had an ugly text message this morning from somebody on Facebook and so when I see him going through some stuff and I'm going through just a little bitty piece of it it just reminds me that we're all human my block game is strong but I get messages like this all the time um, just for no apparent reason except I didn't answer fast enough so whatever um, but I went to my first Tony Robbins event in July of 2018. Um, it was awesome because March of 2018, I had like an awesome month in my business and everything was just exploding. It was our best month in business ever. And so I took my team, I said, let's go celebrate. Let's go do something. And I said, let's go see Tony Robbins. And they were super excited about it because none of them had been to a Tony Robbins event either. So um, there were supposed to be four of us, but three of us ended up going last July to Tony Robbins Unleash the Power Within. And it was awesome. Uh, we all walked on fire. We, we all got separated. So we ended up walking on fire by ourselves, which was a great analogy for business. We we're in it together, but then we ended up alone. Uh, I had blisters and I survived and it was awesome. And I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about other people and I learned about events and I learned about just all sorts of amazing things last year in Chicago at Unleash the Power Within UPW. And then Jason and I went back in March of 2019. We went just the two of us to LA to Unleash the Power Within. And it was awesome, but it was different because I wasn't with like my girls. I was with my husband and it had a different meaning everything he was saying was different because I was with a different person but also because I'd, I'd experienced more in life and more in business and again from July to November of last year I hit another milestone in my business and so I was at a different level and then in March when I went with Jason I had been implementing some stuff that I learned, but because I was with a different person, I was listening to everything from a different perspective. And it was honestly totally different because when I went with my girls in July, they were, they're in, they're both, you know, self improvement junkies like I am, and they were down for whatever happened. But Jason was not, and he was not expecting the event to be like it is and he was very discouraged for the first hour in fact before it even started he said he was gonna leave he wasn't down with this he wasn't into it he didn't like it he was not happy he was actually pretty pissed off at me that I took him to this event but then about six minutes into Tony's beginning once he actually started doing his thing, Jason was in. I mean, it took like six minutes. It was like an hour of crap. 
and then six minutes for him to completely turn around and be into it. And by the end of the third day, because this is my third time and it's a four day event, I've only been to three days. <laughs> I've never been to the fourth day. But by the end of the third day, Jason was like leading our section. <laughs> I mean, he did a complete, I would say 180, but it was more like a 160 because the you know, old side still flares up every once in a while, but he did a complete turnaround and ended up drinking the Kool-Aid just as much as I did. And so now I have Gavin with me, Jason's oldest son, my stepson, and he is going into high school. So we really wanted to get some uh, positivity, positivity and leadership and some other things that Tony offers started, started planting in him so that he can, you know, tackle high school the right way and a fun way and a way that will propel him into the future. So he can go to Baylor and pay, play baseball and not just because he's a baseball player, but because he's a leader. So um, this will be my third time at UPW and <laughs> I, I put a post up yesterday that, you know, when I started real estate investing, I went to the same seminar. I went to the same boot camp four times in a year. And I went because the content was the same, the jokes were the same, a lot of the people, the characters, the people that were there, they were the same. It was all pretty much the same, but I was different. I started the first time, I couldn't even spell real estate. You know what I mean? I mean, I had a real estate license. I could spell it technically, but I didn't know. I mean, I had nothing to go on. And then the second time I went, I had a bunch of no's. I had a lot of doors slammed in my face. I had a lot of negativity. I had a lot of crapola that had happened and I had some experience. And so what people were saying made sense to me in a different way. And then the third time I went to that boot camp. I had even more experience and I had even more no's, but I also had one deal under contract. So I knew what it felt like to have one seller believe in me. So the third time I went to that event, it was totally different again because I had changed. And by the time I went to that fourth event that year, 2014, I went to the same three day workshop four times. Everything was the same. The basics were the same, the jokes were the same, the people were the same. I was different because I'd closed deals. I closed like five deals. I made like 50 grand by the time I went back to the fourth time, all right? But it's so important for me, when I'm into something, I am in whole hog. I mean, I am totally into something when I'm into it. When I'm not into it, there ain't no way you're getting me involved in it. Mm -mm, not happening, nope. I am either on or off. And when I got on in real estate investing, I could not get enough. I was, you know, listening to CDs about real estate investing because we weren't really like podcasting about it when I started. <laughs> you youngsters, you've got all these podcasts and stuff that you can listen to now. Remember, I've got a podcast on it too. She buys it. She buys it podcast. Okay. And we are really getting it ramped up this fall. I was listening to CDs about it. I was listening to CDs about other investors. I was listening to everything I could while I was in the car, just like y'all are now. But I was also trying to find every event that I could go to because I just needed to be surrounded with people that had the same goals and ideas and energy that I had. And it's the same for me now. That's why we're going to Tony Robbins for the third time in 12 months. All right, I went in July of 18, March of 19, and July of 19, and I'm not, sure that I won't go to another UPW before 19's over, okay? Because I just need to be around people with the same ideas and the same goals and the same energy. That way when I go back home and I'm by myself, I've still got some of that kind of bottled up that I can tap into when I need it. All right, so that's, that's why I go to Tony Robbins. I love real estate investing events. And I also, though, really like ladies real estate investing events. And I hold four events every year. Um, we've got an apartment event in January coming up. We've got a private money event in May of next year. We got a vacation rental event. It's just going to end up being my mastermind. It's not going to be a huge event event. 
But we do have a huge, huge event in Knoxville every November that 100 women are coming from all over the country this year. 118 seats is what we got available. And it's where you need to be to surround yourself with the same ideas, people with the same ideas, people with the same goals, people with the same energy, people that can refresh you, people that can encourage you, people that can partner with you on deals. Like this is the event for women in real estate investing. We're going to talk about houses. We're going to talk about apartments. We're going to talk about money. We're going to talk about vacation rentals. And I may have a couple extra surprises up my sleeve, but she buys it live is the event for women in real estate. And we do it once a year because that's just where we are on our growth chart right now. <clears throat> Maybe in the future, we'll have it a couple different times a year. Um, I don't know that I'll ever be able to do it once a month all over the world, like Tony Robbins has his events, but we'll see what we can do. All right. But it is so important for me. It was so important for me in the beginning. And it is still so important for me to be around people that are pushing me, that are holding me accountable, that are calling me out on my crap. Because if I went back to that same boot camp that I was going to in 2014, I could teach it at this point. <laughs> In fact, I do teach that stuff now because I've got the experience. I don't need to go back to 101. I need a new person to push me into a different direction. All right. Because I'm not the same as I was in 2014. I'm not the same as I was last month. I'm not the same as I was in March when I went to UPW the first time this year. If I go again this year, I'll be a different person because I keep learning and growing and going. And that's what I want for y'all. Even if you came to She Buys It Live last year, come back. All right. The basics don't change. You change. And it means different things to you as you change. All right. And I'll tell you, we're in Waco. In April, I came to an event in Austin for uh, one of my girlfriends was having a photography event and I went to it. I'm not becoming a photographer. I just wanted to go see how she did her event because I do events too. Well, we came through Waco and we went on a bus tour of Waco and went on a boat tour of Waco in April of this year. It's July as I'm recording this. So like what, three months ago? Last night, we did the boat tour again. So I've been on the same tour twice. And guess what we're doing tomorrow? The bus tour. All right, I literally did the boat tour and the bus tour in April, and now I'm back in the same place in July, and I'm doing it again. And they tell the same stories, and they show you the same thing, but it's different because I'm different, because I appreciated it the last time, and I can really enjoy it this time, because the first time you hear something, a lot of times you can't let it like sink down into your head and into your brain, and it doesn't actually change your life until you hear it and you hear it and you hear it and you hear it again. How many times have you been to church and you've heard the story about Noah's Ark? Do you get tired of hearing the story about Noah's Ark? How many times have you heard the Easter story? How many times have you heard the Christmas story? How many times have you heard Cinderella? How many times have you watched The Little Mermaid? All right. You don't get tired of those stories or if you get tired of them, it's because you've grown through them and you're ready to take on a new story and a new challenge. And that's what we offer at She Buys It Live. Maybe you're not into houses anymore and you're more into apartments. We've got apartments. Maybe you're tired of houses and apartments. You just want to talk about money. We're going to talk about that too. All right. The more you surround yourself with these stories, the thicker your foundation gets the more you can look at something from a different perspective because maybe the first time you heard it, you heard it from this angle in this direction, and there was this spin on it. But then when you heard it from this side and this angle and it had this spin on it, all right? Romeo and Juliet, we know that story, but they still make movies about Romeo and Juliet. They just put a different spin on it. They put a different angle on it and totally changes everything. That's what happens at these events. Sometimes you hear one story and you're correlating it with something in your life. Sometimes you're hearing about one deal and you're correlating it with a deal that you've got going right now, but then you learn and go through that deal and you hear the same story, but a little bit different and it changes the way you handle that deal the next time. That's why I keep going back to the same events over and over and over again, because I am ingraining it in my brain. 
the first time you hear a song on the radio and you go, it has a nice beat. I think I could dance to it. I'll give it a 10. You can't sing it. You think you can. You can bop along to it the first time. But it's not ingrained in your brain. But by the time that thing hits number one and it's the like the summer song, you can sing it in your sleep. All right, real estate investing is the same. You got to hear these stories until they are ingrained in your brain. You got to listen to these videos and these podcasts until it's ingrained in your brain until you can make offers in your sleep. You can do deals in your sleep. But you got to be with the right people, with the right goals, with the right ideas and the right energy to make all that happen. And it's all happening at She Buys It Live. Yay! So, SheBuysItLive.com, that's where you can get your ticket. It's in November. It's November 6th through the 9th of 2019. But we do this every November. So, if you're watching this later, you're catching me on a replay, it's all good. We're going to have a She Buys It Live in Knoxville in November, whichever year you're watching this. All right, those are all the questions I had. It was about Tony Robbins and what I thought about him and why I was going back the third time. I drank the Kool-Aid and I'm in. All right, now we're gonna go explore Waco. Yay! Bye girls. Get out there and get your deals done.